first thing you need to know about are bulkheads. Bulkheads are steel walls set up to split the ship's hull into different watertight sections. So, if the hull gets damaged and starts leaking, the flooding stays contained to a small area. Out of all the bulkheads, the one at the front is the most important. When people crash their cars, they usually find that most of the damage is on their front bumpers because people tend to crash into things that are in front of them. For similar reasons, the bow of a ship is the spot that's most likely to get damaged, so this front bulkhead is built to keep water from flooding in. That's why it's called the collision bulkhead, and it's thicker than the other ones to handle more force. But it's not just about being strong. Where this bulkhead is located matters too. If it's too close to the bow, it could get damaged during impact, making it useless. But if it's too far back, the forward compartment becomes too large, so when it fills with water after a collision, the bow could sink too low, resulting in excessive trim. If you're not familiar with the term, trim refers to how low the front of the bow sits in the water compared to the stern. If one end is significantly lower than the other, the deck might come dangerously close to the waterline or even submerge. When that happens, vents and other openings might let water in, which could lead to the ship sinking. 